What's up everybody? I'm playing Without Within, a free game I found on Steam. And uh as you can tell, this is going to be an enduring experience. Let's get started. Vinti, 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 Vinti. The chance of my fans echoed through the door in front of me. How do I Oh well, skip that, whatever that said crowd of hundreds raised their cameras as soon as I stepped out. My guards waved their arms to shoo them away. This red carpet was for me to walk on after all. I blew a kiss for these star-struck peasants. Miss Vinty, please let us hurry, my bodyguard said. Too bad for him. I strutted along like a model on a catwalk. Good. A group of reporters managed to worm through the crowd. They now tiptoed over my guards in hopes of scoring that exclusive. Vinti, how does it feel to have won another Calligrapher of the Year award? A reporter asked me. Before I could answer, another dozen people shouted over each other, hoping for my attention. Vinti, may I get a photo with you? Can you sign some autographs for my kids? And two for me, of course. Ah, I can't believe I'm standing this close to Vinti. My fans stamped their dirty shoes all over the red carpet. Finally, my bodyguards pulled out their pepper sprays to keep these fans in check. A young male reached in my direction, despite having the spray aimed at his face. Rather admirable for a peasant. I extended my hand for this male fan to kiss. Unfortunately for him, he fainted at the sight of my perfectly polished nails. I reached my limousine at last. My bodyguard opened the door for me, and as I climbed in, my trailing fan snapped as many photos as they could. Miss Vinty, Miss Vinty, the crowd chanted as my car window pulled up. How odd, they never referred to me as Miss. Oh, my graceful presence must have been too much for their sanity. These poor things. Miss Vinty, Miss Vinty. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. This isn't the red carpet. What happened? What is this thing? Oh. Well, I had fun while it lasted. At least I got to ride in a limousine for a good 30 seconds. In real life, my only registered vehicle was, well, my 10-year-old bicycle. My apartment had no space for a car anyway. Actually, this single room with cracked walls might be an insult to the word apartment. Pull up those curtains for a spectacular $1 view featuring a sewage pipe and a wall tainted with yellow. Just open the window if you wish to smell the sewage as well. A breathtaking experience. I can only imagine the wonderful things that you smell and see during your day, Miss Vinty. By the way, sorry, I needed to take back one room thing. I needed to take back the one room thing. I don't get it. This place actually has two rooms, thank you very much. The second room happened to be a toilet. That still counted, right? The toilet clogged three times a month, so be careful when using it. Miss Vinty, Miss Vinty, a woman echoed. A woman's voice echoed from outside. She was no fan, but rather my landlady. I glanced over at my clock, 6 a.m. Waiting another hour or two would have been nice. She probably just wanted to tell me about another rent rise. Nothing good ever came out of that woman's mouth. I would be better off staying in bed. Uh, well, it's pretty bright out for six o'clock, so we'll just get going. Coming, as I changed into something more appropriate, the landlady still kept knocking. I said I was coming, did I not? Maybe I should walk out naked, if that was what she dug. Ah, that sounds like a good idea. You should probably do that. If this were a game, we might get a sale boost, too. It's a good thing this isn't a game, though. Good morning, Miss Vinty, the landlady said. I must ask, what's with that hair? It looks like you just woke up. That's because I did. It's a waste for young ladies like you to sleep away your youth, the landlady shook her head. She had no right to preach to me like this. I wanted to tell her, but decided against it, as doing so would give her an excuse to lecture me further. With her size, if I enraged her, she would squash me into Vinty-flavored pancakes. Miss Vinty, your rent was due three days ago. Oh, well, at least there was no rent increase. So so sorry, madam. So 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 sorry, madam. 
Okay, I won't do that again. My next paycheck will come after tonight's shift, so I'll pay you first thing tomorrow morning. Landlady grunted. All right, just know if this keeps up, you'll have to find somewhere else to live. She spun around to leave. Once she disappeared behind the corridor, I kicked my door shut, causing a piece of my cracked wall to fall off. Good. I tried shoving the piece back into place. My effort resulted in more wall fragments flaking off. Great. The landlady would make me pay for that next month. Once I became accomplished, an accomplished calligrapher, she would beg for a chance to shine my shoe. Hey, I sounded a bit ranty before, but that was never my intention. A lot of famous people had humble beginnings. I would follow in their footsteps, but first I needed to put in the work. Without Within Well, so far we have a very promised storyline. There will be plenty of character development and whatnot. And so I returned to the busiest street in my area, with my calag spread before me. I sat on the concrete and rested my back against the fence. Car horns blared behind me, mixed with people shouting things at each other's mothers. Good. <coughs> These cars kept expelling fumes that made me choke. Just one of the many things I dealt with in the name of art. Pedestrians took up almost every inch of space on the street ahead. Surely this would be the day when somebody spotted my talent. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. As always, no one afforded me anything more than a passing glance, and my will soon dwindled. Let me be honest, I never expected to be showered with praise by every head who passed here. What was that old saying? Ten percent of the people you reached out to will buy your work. I could live with that, even just one percent. Please, anything but zero. I wanted to scream at these people. They had no idea how much sweat I poured into these persevere or rant. Uh, well, I guess we have no choice. Always persevere. I decided to keep these displeasures to myself. People often said patience would be rewarded. I wondered if my patience would ever become worthwhile. Just as I thought this, a man paused to look at my... He had a bucket of fried chicken in his hand. The smell made my mouth water. As the man eyed my work one by one, I felt my cheeks heating up from anticipation. At last, someone who spared more than a moment with my works. This must be my reward. The timing could hardly be more perfect. Uh, I summoned the courage to speak with the man, but he spoke first. You're charging for these? I managed a tiny nod. The man snorted. I would never hang these on my wall, even if you gave them to me for free. Wow. Seriously, this is the most shameless display I've ever seen. That's heartless. Trolls online were one thing. Confronting one in real life was a rarity. Judging from the man's scrawny arms, I bet he could overpower... I bet I could overpower him with ease. Then he would know just how big of a blunder he had made. Well, I don't think we need to attack him. We'll be fine. Folks always said to ignore trolls. I clenched my teeth and stayed put. After chuckling in my face, the man strutted off. Determined to prove him wrong, I continued to sit and wait for potential customers. Another thousand people walked by without sparing me a look. Lingering here any longer would be a waste of time. As I packed my things, I insisted I was leaving because my part-time job started in an hour. Deep inside, I knew that man's word had rocked my confidence. Giving up on Kluckhoff would mean I had wasted all this time over nothing. Yet if I lacked the gift, persevering might make things worse. Tears welled in my eyes as I clenched my fists to hold them back. Speaking of tears, I heard a kid crying within the crowd. Looked like he had lost... Looks like we had a lost child on our hands. Some pedestrians shot him glances, but none offered them more than that. These really were horrible people. To cheer myself up, I told myself I would never want my calligraphies to be owned by people like that. I should help the kid, but that would mean being late to my job. No, we're going to help the kid. <clears throat> if, I off if I judged others for abandoning a child, then did the same myself, I would be a jerk and a hypocrite. With a sigh, I walked up to the boy. There, there. It's okay. Did you lose mummy? The boy was sobbing too hard to answer. I leaned in to stroke his back with one hand and his head with the other. Let me know if you lost mummy, okay? I'll help you find her, so there's no need to be scared. The kid managed a nod at last, and I whispered, good boy, into his ear. What's your mummy's name? Ha hungry. Her name is Hungry? The boy's tummy growled, and I realized what he meant. Oh, well, how about I buy you a sandwich? The kid shook his head. I want ice cream. 
Hey kid, ice cream is more of a dessert, actually. I want ice cream. And so ice cream it was. One for him and none for me. The money came out of my pocket, of course. My poor, poor wallet. At least this kid could have eaten the whole thing rather than letting half of it melt on his shirt. Jesse, the boy said. That's Mummy's name. Jesse, Jesse, I called as I strode along the street. Now people stared at me more than ever. Enough to make me blush, in fact. Maybe I should try shouting Jesse at random the next time I sold my calligraphies. The sky turned orange as time ticked by. Yes, I knew my shift started half an hour ago. Stop reminding me. A woman screezed through the crowd and scurried toward us. She ran past our red light, nearly getting hit by a truck in the process. Mummy, the boy shook free of my hold and rushed in his mother's embrace. After muttering apologies to her son, the woman gazed toward me. Oh, thank you so much for your help. You're wonderful, just wonderful. The torrent of praises curled my lips into a stupid grin. Anyone would have done the same thing. Please, if there's anything I can do in return, just let me know, the mother said. Actually, there is something I need help with. The mother nodded. Anything in my power, miss? Which way back to the train station? Good job. A+. plus. <clears throat> sky had gone dark by the time I arrived at work. I opened the restaurant door gingerly to avoid making any noise. Stealth mode switched on. They called me Ninja Vinti for a reason. Miss Vinti, the voice of my boss, nearly made me jump onto the ceiling fan. S -s 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 sorry I am late. I wanted to explain, but my boss glared at me, and my tongue slurred out a bunch of syllables. My explanation was in there somewhere, probably, maybe. I received an earful from my boss, but at least I got to keep my job. Several colleagues shot me frowns for not being here during such a busy period. In the end, I took all the blame without complaint. Well, at one point, I locked myself inside a toilet and screamed into the bowl. I also might or might not have fantasized about dunking my workmates' heads into the toilet. Workmates' heads into the toilet. That was for me alone to know, though. At least I earned the paycheck needed to keep my landlady quiet for another month. As for the month after that, we would see when the time came. All I wanted was to pursue my art, but reality kept pressuring me toward finding the second job. On my way home, I spotted a banner for an upcoming visual novel named Princess Area. The game had long been hyped on. The game had long been hyped on every forum I knew. Amazing art, along with a cast of famous voice actors, the writer and composer were big names too. For Princess Area to have an ad this big, there must be a lot of money put behind this project. The way this banner hung high gave me a sense I, it was extra important. Bright lights shone on the princess's face to impress potential players. Yes, that was what I really needed. If I had a banner like that, no doubt people would line up to buy my calligraphy. Oh, I actually pronounced it right. I could already imagine how folks would react if, as I walked along the streets. Hey, I think that was Vinti. Wow, no way. You mean that famous calligrapher I see on all the bammer banners? Yeah, she must be really good. Maybe we should ask her for her autograph. My agent would then step in to speak on my behalf. Please line up in an orderly fashion, everyone. How much for an autograph? Shut up and take my money. An agent nodded in response. Autographs are available for $100, thanks. That would be $100, thanks, the game shop's owner said. Princess Arya cost twice what I predicted. If I bought the game, I would have too little left for rent. I opened my wallet, hoping I might have more cash on hand than I realized. Turned out I had less, actually. I hung my head, and the stopkeeper sighed. His arched brows pressured me into buying the game. I did ride three trains to get here. Might as well pick up something. I told the shopkeeper how much money I had, and he shook his head. The store owner pulled out a different game from under his table. He brushed away the dust on it so I could see the cover. The title read, Sunflower War. Some visual novel about a battlefield. Copyright 1997, the bottom read. No wonder it was so cheap. Art by Invert Mouse, whoever the heck that was. The front cover would fit perfectly into a kindergarten classroom. I flipped the case to see what was highlighted on the back. This game supported up to 640 by 480 resolution. Truly the pinnacle of technology. The shopkeeper grimaced. He must have sensed I wanted to say no. His stare made my palms stained with sweat, and I ended up buying the game. 
dealing with folks like that had always been a weakness of mine. Remind me to never visit the store again. So now we got a poopy game for the N64. Good. With heavy strides, I returned to my apartment. Zero calligraphy sales. Late for work, and with rent topped off by blowing cash on some game I had no interest in, what I really wanted to play was Princess Aria. Forcing myself to suffer anything else would just upset me further. Huh, no, we'll just go to bed. Forget it, I only bought Sunflower War out of pressure. After shoving the game into my bin, I crawled into bed. For the next few weeks, I tried over and over to sell my calligraphies, but all of my works remained untouched, while well, aside from a few pedestrians who stepped on them by mistake. Wait, my bad. I did make this one sale. This one guy who needed my calligraphy to use as toilet paper. I had zero passion left for calligraphy. In fact, just thinking about it fueled me with anger. This was no longer the career for me. Today, I chose to retire for good. Bad end? Oh, there's multiple endings. Okay. Well, I'm going to play through and, uh... I'm going to choose different... Uh different options and see if I can get a better ending. Yeah, 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 okay. I skipped through that by accident and I just did it again. Well, I'm gonna just skip through here. We'll still rise and shine. We'll rant about it this time. Enough was enough. I sprang off the ground and kicked the fence behind me. The crowd stared as I ranted on and on about their ignorance. It felt so good to let loose. If these people knew how to spot real art, my career would have already kicked off. Two days later, my eruption made its way into the internet. Guys, make sure never to buy anything from her. She's nuts. Uh, ugh, whoever does she think she is. Spread the news, everyone. We need to make sure people like her never get anywhere. My career was doomed. If I knew one mistake would destroy everything, I would have kept my trap shut. How I wish to relive that day. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured would happen. I'm actually going to figure out what this says, though. Vinti, Vinti, da, da. Two bodyguards wrapped his hands around the doorknob. Please prepare yourself, Miss Vinti. Once I open the door, we'll head straight for our limo. The guard had no reason to fret. I had long since grown into these crowds. Still, I nodded to put him at ease. After taking a deep breath, he pushed the door open. Okay. Yeah, then we know this. Uh, we'll get up, because I have a feeling if we stay in bed, then we're going to get kicked out of our apartment. No, persevere. And we'll attack this guy. I crunched up one of my calligraphies and rose. The man must have sensed my violent intent as he backed up a step and shielded his face with a bucket of chicken. I threw a punch at him before he could flee into the crowd. A fist connected with the side of his head that marked the first time I ever hit someone. My knuckles hurt from the blow, but seeing this guy's dropped jaw made it worthwhile. He probably grew up this way because nobody ever dared to punish him. A couple of pedestrians popped up and held me back from attacking the man further. I squirmed against their grips but gave up as my anger waned. Once my breathing returned to normal, the civilians loosened their hold and I brushed myself free. Uh, I'll remember this, the man fled for the train station, eating another piece of chicken. As he did so, I hoped he choked on it. The next morning, someone knocked on my door. I checked the clock, 5 a.m. What would the landlady cut me? When would the landlady cut me a break? Miss Vinti, it's the police. What's this? Good. Oh boy. I cupped a hand over my mouth, as if keeping quiet would make the police go away. They must be here to ask about my salt yesterday. The guy I punched was nothing but talk. I should have let him ramble. God knew I was that what would befall me now. I prayed I would at least be spared from a jail sentence. Tears streaked down my cheeks as I buried myself under the blanket. This had to be nothing more than a bad dream. Bad end. Well, here, we'll see what happens if we stay in bed this time. Stay in bed. Snuggle back to my blankets. Landlady could knock all she wanted, but my focus was on calligraphy dreams. I had no time for these common folk matters a week later. Turned out the landlady was chasing me for my rent. By the time I realized, she had already evicted me. Now I lived on the streets with nothing but my calligraphies. The past few nights have been freezing cold, and I ran out of tissues to wipe my runny nose with. To make things worse, I could feel my head heating up from upcoming fever. Might I interest you in buying one of my works? I got a two-for-one deal today. Bad end. Well, I guess I chose all the right things last time. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, rise and shine. 
What were any other choices? I you know, persevere, strain, uh, help. Uh, play, I guess. This my sunflower, sunflower war. Might as well give it a go. The day left me pretty drained, so this relic of a game would do a good job putting me to sleep. Switched on my laptop and inserted the disc, which I partly hoped would fail to load from old age. Too bad it worked just fine. No doubt a lot of people were loving Princess Aria right now. Meanwhile, here I was enjoying this N64 game. No voice acting either. These illustrations looked like they were done by a child. I would be better off closing my eyes and imagining my own artworks. The grass reached up to our knees as I read along. I painted an image on the screen of the screen in my head. Plants rustled as we waded through. We paused once every few steps, fearing there might be snakes hiding among the bushes. Oh, that's really pretty. Somehow we managed to survive the evening. The sun surged from beyond the horizon, outlining the earth with an orange glow. Slowly, the blue sky emerged and vanquished the darkness that had haunted us. A light bathed the soil. As light bathed the soil, I found myself in a field of sunflowers. I had imagined this place to look far more terrifying, but anxiety had merely been playing tricks on me. I drew a deep breath to savor the morning fragrance. In the distance, the birds chirped as if applauding our survival. I could see it. Not only that, but touch, hear, and smell, too. An experience crafted by my imagination. The image rivaled the strokes of any artist, and it belonged to me alone. This fulfillment inspired me to take things further. <coughs> the blast of gunfire deafened us as we dove behind a wall. The bullets whizzed past the tip of my helmet. Sam had passed the helmet on to me when, with her dying breath. I would carry on her legacy. The desert heat pinched sweat from every pore. I desperately wanted to empty this water bottle down my throat. With no help in sight, I must conserve every drop. Joe's eyes closed, this time never to reopen. Despite our promise to survive together, only I managed to live. How I wished I could take her place. I finished reading Sunflower War right as the clock struck 3 a.m. How so many people had missed this classic left me dumbfounded. Actually, this would be a lie, as I too had every intention of tossing this game aside. I kept demanding excitement without offering an ounce of passion in return. If I played my part, I might be able to discover so much more. As Sunflower Wars credits rolled, I realized just how small the development group was. The team probably knew they stood no chance against the bigger studios, as they still did their best with dated technologies to deliver a vision they believed in. The happiness they felt when working on this project poured out every poured out <coughs> of every line in this game. I could gaze right into their hearts. Heart, the thing I had long neglected. Oh, I guess so I should have played the game instead of just going to sleep. Mummy, Daddy, Vinti, what is it, darling? Look, look, it's my... <coughs> Honey, it's a calligraphy, but that's great. I think you have a lot of talent. This is so much fun, I'm going to become a calligrapher. I had forgotten the last time I found joy in calligraphy. Every stroke these days... <coughs> ugh, I felt like a grocery chore. All I obsessed over was how much, or rather how little, people paid attention to my efforts. My works no longer possessed heart, and I failed to notice it time to do something about that. I could hardly wait to start. After all, I chose this path because I loved it. Oh, I, I, yeah, I should have played the game instead of just putting it aside. The next day I ventured outside with a new set of calligraphies. Though I, I made no sales thus far, I still found myself beaming. That might explain why some people smiled back. Perhaps it was the weather, but I swore everyone felt warmer today. Mummy, mummy, there she is, the ice cream lady. A boy dragged his mother in my direction. It was that kid I helped out yesterday. The mother and I exchanged nods. Honey, the, the lady has a name. It's rude to call her the ice cream lady. What's her name, though? Oh, my, it's, well, sorry, what is it? It's Vinti. Mother slapped her boy on the back. See, your name is Miss Vinti. Mommy, can we, we buy one of these doodles from the ice cream lady? Doodle must be another word for top-of-the-line calligraphy. No other explanation would restrain me from shaking the brain out of this boy. My name was nowhere inside that little brain anyway. The mother checked her wallet, and her face crunched up the way mine often did. All good, madam. I knew how it felt to be living on the edge, the edge of being homeless. Please, 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 the boy nagged on. This showed why I never have kids. 
The mother relented at last and bought one of my works. Guess the boy wanted to repay my kindness. I gave his hair a ruffle as thanks. After flashing his missing tooth with a grin, he pulled his mother back into the crowd. Well, at least I scored better marks than yesterday. Another man strolled towards me. Wow, I was on a roll now. With heart on my side, my fame and fortune had arrived. Clean my shoes, peasants. Hey, it's you again, the man said. Oh, the troll from yesterday. I call my thoughts to avoid causing a scene. Maybe the guy came to apologize. Even a creep like him must know how rude he had been. Yes, my aura had cleansed him of all evil thoughts. Go on, empty your wallet of my greatness. Wow, these new scribbles are even worse than the ones you brought last time. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to fight him. Oh, so I don't get a choice. I do it anyways. Crazy Kluger for dubstep remix. Somehow I turn into an internet celebrity. Top comment. Damn, snap. <laughs> wow, she went full crazy, lol. Triangle mouth at seven. Illuminati. She'd be like, why you know bye, haha. <laughs> More like, this might be a good time to look for that second job. Thank you for playing. Is that it? I'll assume that that was the good ending. Because, uh, it didn't say bad ending. So, well, it looks like she got her calligraphy back on track. Well, it was an interesting game. It's not... It was free, so... I wasn't expecting that much, but... Branching storylines is always a good thing to see. Alright, well, that's the end of this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Join the militia today. See ya.